Hello YouTube, welcome to my new tutorial on how to make an evil orange. We'll be making it on a uh, transparent background, so um yes. How did I do that? Oh well. So you'll be able to put it on anything. Um so what you want to do first is open up GIMP. Okay, so now just free. Uh, no, sorry. You need to go into the description and get the pictures that are in there. Um, so, an orange. So, open up the first picture of the orange. <clears throat> And so here we have our orange. So what we're going to do is render it so that we don't have this white on the background. So you can take your ellipse tool or because you won't get a perfect circle around your orange because the orange isn't a perfect circle. I choose to take the paths tool. So first what you want to do is get a um, little thing at the top and then put another one there. Sorry, not there. That didn't work. Put another one there. It doesn't matter how straight it is really. So just stick it there. So now what we want to do is bend our selection -y bit so that it fits if I just zoom out. using these little squares is the best bet and then so there we pretty much have one and now what you want to do is do exactly the same again but opposite so just using these little squares here pulling them out pulling them down and around oops Okay, I'd say that looks about good. So now I'm going to make a new one here, connect it to that one and that one, and do the same. Shift to make a new one, connect it to that one and that one. Okay, so let's see. Just line them up perfectly and now hit enter to make your selection so now just control X to cut that um, so what we want is to make a new document um, the new document should be with the same size anyway if not it's 310 by 335 just hit ok we'll get rid of this Control V, paste that in and anchor it down. So now we have our orange with basically no white bits, but we can change that later. Now what you want to do is go file, open as layers and open our new uh, raw image, our tiger. So make sure that it's above the background layer or the orange and just turn down the opacity this allows us to see exactly where we want our lion's mouth so we don't what what we're aiming to get is the black bits over here just on the outside of the orange like that and you may even need to make it bigger 
or just move it down. I'll make it a little bit bigger. It's about there. So I'm going to use arrow keys for this. Right, so about there. It doesn't matter about the tongues going over because we can go around there. Okay, so now that we've got this, what we want to do is cut out the mouth. So I'm just going to zoom in quite a lot here. That was probably too much. So just start clicking around. And then when you get to like curves, you can just click there, drag it round, and there. So I'll get back to you when I've finished with that. Okay, so once you have this um, connected up path, make sure it's all connected. Just hit enter and control I. That will invert the selection and delete. So that deletes everything around it apart from the orange because we're not on that layer. So control shift A to deselect and there we have our basic mouth. Now just tone the opacity back up again. So now as you can see it doesn't look very realistic because we still have the orange over here. So what I'm going to do is get the eraser tool, take a big fuzzy brush and just start erasing oops wrong layer the orange around here make that a bit bigger quicker okay and that should give you something like this so that's pretty good um, now what we want to do is as you can see here it kind of looks it looks really sharp and just like it's I can't really explain like it's just been put there well you know like it has so what we want to do is I am going to go to filters this is on the orange layer so make sure you're on the orange layer over here go to filters blur selective Gaussian layer. Come over to here. You want to make it so about five um, eighty-six. Oh, so sixty-four as your max delta and the blur radius about seven. So just hit OK there. As you can see, this takes away quite a lot of the texture. So, I'm going to undo that and maybe by three pixels. Okay, that's much better. Now, on our raw, we want to go in distorts, eye warp. <coughs> this you'll get a weird picture because it's all you've deleted is this bit around here. Um, now you want to get the move and just kind of move the edges and the swirl just a little bit around here okay and wait for that to load now on our orange layer I'm going to get this again and just go around the outsides of the mouth so that you can't actually see, so you're not doing that, you're actually fading it away. So that looks much better. Okay, so here is our finished product and 